Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Vergosity Gaming with me, Vergosity. So glad you could join us. We're doing something different today. For the first time, we're going to try our hands at a little tutorial. We're going to show you how to make this bee breeder box over here to make it super easy to get the bees into those bee nests and then take them and put them wherever you want in your world. So sit back, let's hang out and play some Minecraft. <laughs> So if you saw my last episode, you saw this get built up in Honey Manor. But let's give a little example of how it works before we build the tutorial. So basically, you're going to come over here between these snow layers and this slab. There's just enough room you can get in there and feed a couple flowers to the bee, at which point they're going to make a baby. The baby is going to see this flower over here and go, oh, I want to be a part of that. He's going to pollinate it. And after he pollinates it, He's going to hop into this beehive over here. Now, the beehive is facing this way. Ooh, that was close. Uh, the beehive is facing this way, and because these glass blocks are over it, no bees can get out, but the bees can still get in. So as soon as he pollinates it, he goes into the beehive. Now, we're going to keep breeding the bees up there until we get this full. How are we going to know it's full? Well, there's going to be one bee that's kind of just circling around here and is not able to go in there. At that point, we will close this up, We'll come to the side right here. We'll work our way in here. We're going to silk touch the beehive and the bees that are inside of it are going to come with us. And then we can take the beehive and put it wherever we like. And then we would just put a couple new beehives in the back here and start the process all over again. So we're going to get these beehives filled up here and drop them down so we can see it in action. Alrighty guys, I think we have what we're looking for here. We've got one pollinated bee hanging out behind that is not able to get into the hive because it's full. You can tell he's pollinated because his little butt has all these little particles on it. So now what we do is we wait for him to be next to the flower so that we don't smush him. We're going to close that. Now we're going to get our silk touch tool. We're going to go right in here. We're going to break this guy. And we're going to break this guy and grab both of them. And we can fill the rest right back in. And then you can come to the back here and put two new beehives in. Cover it up with glass. Open this back up. And the process should be able to start all over again. With that bee should automatically go in there. We'll get another new one going, and you can get the process going all over again. So, let's go ahead and grab our two beehives and see if we have success. Yup, we got three in there, and we got three in there. So, you would just take these and put them wherever you wanted to in your world. And you could have bees wherever you wanted. So, let's get to building this contraption here. Here is everything we're going to need. Some glass to go around the outside, a lever to push up the piston and a repeater to power it, some snow as a layer to stop the baby bees from getting out, uh, some decoration blocks, and the beehives are probably one of the most important things. Some dirt, some flowers. Okay. Grab all that stuff and let's get to building. So from wherever you want the front of the machine to be, like let's say you wanted the front of the machine to be right here, you're going to come back one, two, three, four, five blocks. And that last block, you're going to place your beehive. Actually, you're going to place two of them next to each other. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the piston mechanism in. So grab your sticky piston. It's going to go right in front, because remember, the back is where the beehives are actually facing. You're going to put repeaters into it like that and then a couple pieces of redstone dust and some building blocks with a lever and that will power the pistons. Around to the front of the contraption, let's put some blocks, glass blocks on those sticky pistons and then we'll take our dirt, put those right in front of those glass blocks with our poppies on top of it and then we're going to take some slabs and put them right down there like that. 
let's go ahead and grab our stained glass and this is just going to go all around like this and making sure to cover up those holes on that beehive just like that okay some building blocks we're going to do one two three four rows of two then in the last one we're going to take a half slab and put it right like that now we need to fill in the bottom this is any kind of decorating block you want to have right here i just happen to think it looks nice with the stairs like that but you could use just about anything you want here or you don't even really have to fill it in i guess but whatever you do make sure you come all the way around like that now let's go ahead and grab your snow layers we're gonna do one two three one two three looks like we need to finish it up with some glass right there and then right off the top again you can finish this up however you want i just happen to think it looks nice with some slabs like there are some stairs like that going all the way around these would be like that there you go and guys that's everything all put together now you just got to work on getting bees in there and let's see how we can accomplish that together here all right, so the easiest way for us to get bees in there is to get baby bees in there and then have them grow up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up here and we're going to lure them in. But we don't want them flying up into this chamber because they're going to end up in the beehives. So we're going to actually block that off right there. And then we're going to put some flowers down here to lure them in. All right. Let's go ahead and get a flower in our hand. And I think we got a couple babies. Yep, there we go. We can get them to follow us right over here. All right, and then we'll take the flower out of our hand, and then they should see that flower over here and work their way in there. We might have to give them a little nudge, a little nudge, a little nudge. There we go. There we go. And one's in, and two is in. And if we're quick and we get our snow out quickly, we should be able to, there we go. All right, now we would just wait for them to grow up, take out these dirt blocks, replace it with flowers, and start breeding. The other thing we need to do is we need to get our slabs down in the bottom there. So we gotta be quick about this. We're gonna take this out, take those flowers out, and drop those slabs in super quick. But we wanna make, we, those guys don't wanna be down there. We want them up high first. Do not want them down there. Because they might try to sneak out then. Hmm, what if we grabbed a flower in our hand and there we go. Oh, they go, no, they don't go right back down. Okay, maybe we got it right now. Here we go. Let's be quick. Ready? Boom, got it. Okay, let's wait for him to grow up and open it back up again. All right, our boys are all grown up. Let's go ahead and breed him up. And just make sure this thing is working as advertised. Oh, I see a hole in the window over here. We need to fill that in, but the baby is going for the flower. He will pollinate the flower. He will get pollen all over himself, and he will go in the bee nest. So, guys, I'm pretty sure we have a fully working bee breeder for you to put in your survival world and start filling up bee nests and taking them all over the place with you and filling your world with bees. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. It's been a pleasure making it for you. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Come right to the back here. Oh, geez, yep, okay. That's not exactly how it's supposed to go. But yeah, okay, they were definitely all in there. We're actually supposed to go from the side to break it. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> all right, awesome tutorial. Very good work, huh? But yeah, there you go. All six of those bees were inside of the nest there, so I think I probably want to redo this whole thing, though, because, damn it. Ugh. <sighs>